This video contains disturbing and violent content. Viewer discretion advised. Glitches are errors or bugs in video games that can cause undesired or interesting results. Glitches in video games can often be exploited to gain practical advantages or are downright funny when things don't go right. The following list of glitches are some of the most hilarious, amusing, and laugh out loud funny. Please be aware that this list only contains glitches that work or used to work when you attempt them, as opposed to them randomly happening in the game. We'll even show you how to do them too. Stupid Blotizen Glitch Banjo-Tooie Chief Blotizen is a jaguar-like Magi found in Banjo-Tooie. A priest of the high god Target Zan, Chief Blotizen is encountered by Banjo in a small side temple where he is found in a panic over losing Target Zan's sacred priceless relic thingy. An amusing glitch here is retrieving the sacred relic thingy, and then coming back as Mumbo Jumbo and talking to Chief Blotizen. He replies that he'll only talk to Banjo, and start searching again looking for the relic, even though it's in the room right at his feet. This is known as the stupid Blotizen glitch. The glitch isn't patched and worked in the original Nintendo 64 version and still works in the Xbox 360 version. Again, to do this you need to steal the relic from the Ungabungas, then come back to the location Blotizen is as Mumbo Jumbo. Hey! Infinite Fishing Line Unturned the fishing rod is one of the four fish generators in Unturned. It can catch two fish, the raw trout and the raw salmon. It currently takes up three slots in the inventory. The glitch here is that when it's cast, you can walk a seemingly infinite length away without it being wheeled in. This could mean you could fish from the top of a mountain, or the roof of your house, or even a wheat field. If the fishing rod wriggles, simply reel it in and you can still catch fish. So, in order for this to work, you need a fishing rod and you need to cast a lure out into the open so it bobs up and down. Now you are free to walk wherever you want. Disposable Boxes – Viscera Cleanup Detail The Disposable Boxes glitch is only viewable when a player joins a host's game. In order for this glitch to work, both players must fill their boxes full of garbage. While the host won't see this, the other players will witness the box slowly start to move and shake about, sometimes throwing out the garbage in its wake, only for it to magically reappear in the box a few seconds later. It's fairly easy to do, just join another player's game and you'll witness this amusing yet confusing glitch. Dancing Goron Glitch, Zelda Twilight Princess The Dancing Goron Glitch is a small, rather humorous glitch that occurs once you defeat Therus. If you speak to one of the Gorons at Death Mountains or Karakov Village, approach them from the side or back so they turn to face Link and accept when they ask you if you want to go up. Instead of getting on, walk around to its backside and run a short distance away so that the Goron begins to shake, preparing to spring up without you. Quickly run close to the Goron without getting on so the Goron will spring, knocking Link back. If done correctly, the Goron will stand up and be stuck in a loop doing its turning animation, making it look as though the Goron is dancing or possibly needing a really bad toilet break. So, once more, you approach them from the side or back, run a short distance away when the Goron is shaking, run close and the Goron will spring back into its dancing animation. Hey! Car Door Glitch Midnight Club, LA The Car Door Glitch is a glitch where the doors of your vehicle are open at all times. It revolves around you modifying the car in the garage and going to the Doors selection to preview the door opening. Once it opens all the way, back out and then quickly press accept and cancel together as soon as you see the menu appear. Your doors should now be stuck wide open permanently. If the game shows the door selection is gray, then you'll probably need to remove the wide body feature. Now when you leave the garage, your doors should still be stuck open, and you can drive around with them in this position. Every cutscene that plays, such as the police pulling you over, or other races, will have this effect. You can do this glitch with many different vehicles for different effects. So again, in order for this glitch to work, you need to enter Garage, and go into the Doors selection to preview the door opening. Once it opens all the way, back out and then quickly press Accept and Cancel together as soon as you see the menu appear. Unico Entrance Glitch WWE 13 Unico's bike entrance always has some sort of strange glitch. In this case, the wrestler floats over the bike in the air. 
After some time, he slowly floats back down into his original position. It's never explained why this happens, but it does happen with other wrestlers too, if the bike entrance is selected. Hey! Swordless Link Glitch, Zelda Ocarina of Time In the early versions of Zelda Ocarina of Time, it featured the Swordless Link Glitch, which involves saving and quitting during the final battle right after Ganon knocks the Master Sword out of Link's hand. Doing so would put you right back at the beginning of the final dungeon with no sword equipped. While this may sound lame, it was actually pretty cool. Among other things. It let you use items while on your horse, leading to some interesting and glitchy gameplay scenarios. It's even possible to do this in later editions of the game, but you need to use yet another glitch which allows you to play almost any item as an ocarina to warp out of the boss's lair with your sword unequipped. So for this to work, you need to save the game when Ganon knocks the sword out of Link's hand, turn off the console, and reload the save. And there you go. Broken Legs Glitch, FIFA 12 People experiencing the game would be surprised to see players with their legs positioned above their torso. FIFA 12 gamers also saw that some legs would randomly bend up and down in weird and painful looking positions while players still levitated around the field as if nothing was out of whack. This glitch is very common when two players collide with each other. They will disappear for a few seconds and reappear with both characters glitched. Try it yourself. Play as one character, and collide with another with the ball, and the glitch should work. Hey! Bus Hydraulics, Italian Job, Los Angeles Heist The Bus Hydraulics is a strange glitch where the buses appear to rock back and forth. This glitch is an on and off chance, meaning it may not work most of the time. In order for it to work, you must drive really fast into a bus or the side of a bus. There's a 20% chance the bus may start racking back and forth, particularly on hills. So once again, for this glitch to work, you need to hit a bus with a particular force. Hey! Giga Jiggly, Smash Bros Brawl If you've ever thought that something so cuddly and cute can look scary and downright funny, then you should check out this glitch. So, how does it work? Simple. Procure Smash Ball, Wait for a section of the Elden Bridge to collapse, and just before the portal opens to reconstruct that bit, jump into the gap and perform the final smash. Jigglypuff will be hit out of her final smash animation and retain her size. If you have Yoshi Eater, she grows even bigger. Once again, you need to pick training mode as Jigglypuff, choose the Twilight Princess map, and have Yoshi as the opponent. Once the center floor collapses, use the final smash in the gap, just when the portal opens and reconstructs. Next, have Yoshi eat you, and the glitch will work. Hector Arms Glitch, Earth Defense Force 2025 The Hector is a large enemy robot that appears in Earth Defense Force 2025. The glitch here is its arms, which oddly contort and bend in strange directions. This is largely due to EDF units being extremely close to the Hector when it tries to aim down at them. This can be funny the first time around, and most of the time the Hector will miss the EDF units. This glitch is easy to perform, but rather dangerous to do. It's more common in multiplayer, and can be witnessed easily by the other player. So in order for this to work, you need to go right up close to a Hector robot, and either attack it to get its attention, or wait until it spots you. You won't get damaged by its feet, but you'll notice its arms begin to bend in very weird directions. Hey! Eating Baby Mario Yoshi's Island. Yes, it's actually possible to eat Baby Mario in Yoshi's Island. Here's how it's done. In World 5-5 Goonie Rides, you should go to the area with the helicopter morph bubble. You should then get hit by a Goonie until Baby Mario is released, then wait until the counter reaches zero. While the toadies are taking Baby Mario away, quickly hit him with Yoshi's tongue and touch the helicopter morph bubble. Once Yoshi is already transformed, the toadies will try to take Baby Mario again. When they pop Baby Mario's bubble, you must open their inventory and select the 10 stars or 20 stars item. When the toadies are gone, the player just has to wait until Yoshi transforms back to normal. Now you will have the ability to eat Mario and even turn him into an egg. Even though Baby Mario is missing, the game won't freeze, but the level is rendered impossible to complete. So quick recap. Choose the level Goonie Rides in World 5, 
go to the area with the helicopter morph bubble, and get hit by an enemy until the timer for Baby Mario reaches zero. When the toadies come, hit Baby Mario with Yoshi's tongue, and touch the helicopter morph bubble. Open the menu and activate either the 10 stars or 20 stars power-up. Wait until the helicopter morph is over, and that's it. Hey! Wallhead Glitch. Condemned. Criminal Origins. The Wallhead Glitch is a funny glitch actually found by Tats. It's a glitch where the defeated enemy has their head stuck in a wall via the headbutt finisher. In order for this glitch to work, you need to make enough damage happen to the enemy so that they fall to their knees. When this happens, you can finish them off in one of four ways, but for this glitch to actually happen, they need to be near a wall with their back to it, and you have to choose the headbutt option. If you do it right, the enemy will be shunted back with such a force that their head is pushed through the wall or any other object. It's a rather difficult one to do because you may end up killing them by accident while trying to whittle down their health. So again, your main method to do this is to make sure you do enough damage to the enemy so that they fall to their knees, opening them up for finisher. And make sure their back is to a wall, and choose the headbutt finisher. Hey! Super Bounce Glitch, Skate 2. The Super Bounce glitch allowed you to fling yourself into the air under the right circumstances. Basically, you'd get off your board and throw it away, and then jump, and while jumping, retrieve your board and then try and get back on and do a coffin grab. It takes practice on the timing, but it causes your character to hit the ground body first and then bounce high into the air. It didn't work everywhere and it didn't work online, but it made for some hilarious bails once you got it right. Unfortunately, the game was patched, and the glitch was removed. Hey! Headless NPCs, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. This glitch, while comedic, is also unfortunately game-breaking, as headless and armless zombies and NPCs can't die, meaning you sometimes can't complete mission objectives and side content. Sources say it was caused by an update Rockstar did back in June to fix hacking and cheating exploits in the multiplayer component. Unfortunately, it seems to have also completely broken the single-player campaign. Luckily, it appears that removing the update from the 360 and refusing to install it fixes the issue. So, how do you get this glitch? Well, it's complete luck most of the time. Usually it's obtained when you download the latest patch and save right after beating a graveyard. Hey! Cat Fountain, Minecraft. In the old version of Minecraft, cats used to follow their owners everywhere, even go as far as teleporting to them once they've decided they're too far away. By luring them atop a super high structure, you can create an ever-flowing fountain of teleporting cats. The trick is to create a one-block, towering skyscraper and make it as tall as you can. Once you fly high enough, any cats left on the ground will teleport onto the structure's tiny surface. Then they will try to walk closer to you, or simply get shoved off the ledge by the sheer volume of other cats. They fall, they teleport, they fall again. It's a shame it was patched, but if you want to try it out on older versions, here's how it's done one more time. Make sure you have five to six cats. Build a towering block tower, and then float near it. The cats should spawn and keep falling off the tower. Hey! Skeleton Head. Fear Perseus Mandate. The Skeleton Head glitch is a rather quirky and funny animation bug that happens when you rush into a quarter room in the cloning facility. Usually the room is filled with skeletons, but one of them spawns on a bed. If you rush the spawn time, the skeleton does not spawn properly, and he will appear with his head stuck in the top bunk. This happens almost every time, and it's funny to see the model stretch and contort to such strange proportions. Once again, how is this done? All you need to do is, once you hear the strange sound, proceed as fast as you can into the room on the opposite wall, and the glitch will work. Supercar Glitch, Crackdown. The Supercar Glitch is a glitch discovered by Taz. What it does is propel any vehicle that is in close proximity of the supercar into the sky or absolutely flung across the map. It's not really explained as to why exactly this happens, but it's one of the best exploits to use in order to obtain the achievement Flippin' Crazy. In order for this to work, 
You'll need the supercar and max out your driving skill to 4 stars. You'll need to pull in front of another car and slow it down. Then you need to drive alongside and start accelerating at the same time that they do. Usually the car will be propelled upwards with such force that they will appear on fire. Sometimes you will even be shot back several meters because of the force. So one more time, you need a supercar with your driving skills set to 4 stars. Pull in front of another vehicle to have it slow down, and then move to the left or right of it, and then when they begin to accelerate, you too should start your acceleration. Hey! Nice Abyss, Driver 3 The Abyss is the name given to the empty area underneath the terrain in Driver 3. If you accidentally enter the Abyss, you'll fall for a few seconds and land on a flat surface, before promptly dying from the fall damage. This glitch is similar to the Blue Hell glitch in Grand Theft Auto games. If the player has the invincibility cheat enabled, they'll fall through the abyss and land on the solid surface at the bottom, but then be unable to escape unless they restart the game. The player is not supposed to access the abyss, but there are terrain glitches in the game world which the player can accidentally fall into. The Armory and Nice's Airport have abysses which you can fall into. The one at Nice's Airport is the one in the grass. You could be driving on the grass and you fall in a hole as if you were sucked in quicksand. Again, in order to do this glitch, you just need to roam around Nice Airport looking for grass, or the grass area near the armory. Hey! Spy Crab Walk, Team Fortress 2 The Spy Crab Walk is a long-standing and very popular animation glitch with the Spy's Disguise Kit. It's a very bizarre glitch, and the animation from the Spy will leave players laughing first time around. This glitch happens when a player crouches and looks up when holding the disguise kit, allowing them to take on the appearance of a spy crab, a community meme. This glitch was also referenced by one of the disguise kit's taunts. Here it is one more time. You need to play as the spy, get the disguise kit out, crouch, and look at the sky. Now walk. While this may look strange to you, other people will see you like this. Landmine Glitch, DayZ. When the landmine was first introduced to DayZ, it caused many errors with the game. Players who equip landmines noticed their character's arms stretching out to epic proportions. This was a very amusing bug that was noted all over the forums and one of the funniest glitches DayZ had. Alas, the game was patched and the glitch was removed. Hey! Cartridge Tilting, GoldenEye64. Rareware's legendary Nintendo 64 shooter Goldeneye has a particularly hilarious glitch that, when triggered, makes the character models flip out erratically, along with the vehicle models. This is a result of cartridge tilting, which is where if you lift one side of the N64 cartridge out of the slot, it'll screw with the communication between the cartridge and the N64. Now this can cause damage to either the game or the console, so it's not recommended but the side effects are often very amusing, including screwing up character animations, scrambling the text, and garbling the sound. Again, it's not recommended that you do this glitch, but if you really want to, I'll say it again. You need to lift one side of the cartridge while you're gaming. Be prepared for the game to freeze, though, if you do it too much. Hey! Neck bed. Rust. The neck bend is a very strange glitch where the player is able to bend their neck in a very disturbing and completely unreal way. It's especially weird when you have multiple players doing it. Strangely, you can do this glitch underwater while crouched and it would not count as drowning. So in order for this glitch to work, you need to look directly up, and then hold ALT while still moving the mouse. That makes it look like you're looking at everything upside down. The game has not been patched yet, which makes this glitch way more fun to try out. Hey! Bouncing LAV, Battlefield 4. There was a glitch in Battlefield 4 that allowed the LAV to bounce to considerable heights and escape danger. This glitch was rather funny and interesting, and it had two ways to do it. First, you could hit the LAV with any weapon, like a rocket launcher, C4, or grenade. It would then lift the LAV in the air, and once it hits the ground, it would get higher and higher. The second way was to drive the LAV into a body of water from a height. 
This will usually result in the LAV flying into the air almost like a backflip. Usually the LAV blows up with too much damage from the ground. It's unfortunate that they patched this since this is one of the more funny glitches that the Battlefield series had to offer. Next stretch, Halo 2. The next stretch glitch is a glitch that occurs where an in-game character model is stretched to a physically impossible extent. Some have compared the effect to rubber. One method of doing this is on the multiplayer level midship, and it requires two players. Where some ramps lead up to the higher level, there seems to be some sort of shield generated from blue plasma. Have a player crouch behind it and have them melee the shield preferably with the energy sword, and then assassinate the other player. There is a 10% chance that when the player dies, their neck will stretch through the shield. Other outcomes include spasms in the player's corpse, or a combination of the spasms and the long neck. So remember, for this glitch to work, you need two players and to choose the level midship. You gotta have a player stand behind the shield generator and melee it, while the other person assassinates them from behind. NPC Body Conversation, Elder Scrolls Oblivion Oblivion had many bugs in the game, but one of the funniest is when a player knocked an NPC unconscious and then rapidly spoke to them. The NPC would bounce straight back up from the ground and engage in a friendly conversation, almost as if nothing happened. It's a very strange and very funny glitch that can be done again and again, but bear in mind this can cause infamy in the player's statistics. So let's go through this one more time. In order for this glitch to work, you need to find any NPC that isn't killable, knock them out by hitting them, then proceed to immediately spam the talk button. Flying Truck Glitch Burnout 2 Burnout 2 contained more than its fair share of glitches, but the most memorable one was the Flying Truck Glitch. This happened in crash mode when a large truck has its front turned sideways at a 90 degree angle, making the model glitch out and become airborne. All the vehicles will be pushed aside and grant the player a much higher score. Hilarity ensues if there are many vehicles involved, spinning every which way. Despite the glitch being comedy gold, it can be extremely difficult to pull off because of the trial and error in the gameplay. Flying Rhino Tank GTA 3 The Flying Rhino Tank is a well-known, funny and cool glitch that will allow you to reach other islands with ease. Get in the Rhino Tank and rotate the cannon barrel so it's facing the rear of the tank. Drive to any long, straight stretch of road and accelerate while firing the cannon continually without stopping. Eventually the tank lifts off the ground. If you continue accelerating and shooting while in the air, you can fly to and from the three islands with ease. So, to reiterate, in order for this to work, you'll need to find yourself a rhino tank, find a long, clear stretch of road, and point the turret cannon behind you. Accelerate forward, and as you build up speed, shoot the cannon continuously. This will give you enough forward momentum to lift off the ground. Don't forget to keep shooting, though, otherwise you will plunge downwards and crash. Hey! Long Neck Glitch, Battlefield 3 one of the most memorable, funniest, and somewhat disturbing glitches from Battlefield 3 was the stretched long neck glitch. According to some players, this glitch was common in the beta test for the game. What you had to do was crouch and then attempt to jump. Unfortunately, in the final release, the glitch was patched, but apparently it is still an occurrence in the beta for Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 4. Hey! Flying Tank Glitch, World of Tanks the Flying Tank Glitch was one of the funniest glitches in World of Tank, but unfortunately it has now been patched. All you had to do was drive up to any small enclosed space, such as under a bridge or between two buildings, and hold A and W together. Sometimes pressing fire will also work, though if you have a friend to give you a hand, they can also push you into a wall to make the glitch work. After a while, the tank will begin shaking violently and then propel you sky high into the clouds. Usually this will make your tank blow up when you land, but sometimes you can remain aloft by firing at invisible walls or even the ground when you land. Be careful though, sometimes you can end up outside of the skybox and may never come down, or you may well be propelled straight downwards. Hey! Swing Set Glitch, Grand Theft Auto 4 
The swing set glitch has been affectionately coined by the community as one of the easiest bugs to recreate in GTA 4. If the player backed their car up into the swing set the right way and kept their foot on the gas, eventually the built up kinetic energy of the swing would launch the vehicle hundreds of feet into the air like a trebuchet. It works pretty well, although there is a high random element to it at times. The end result of this vehicular flight is almost always catastrophic vehicle damage, although the engine will still frequently run. This enables the player to cruise away in their ruined vehicle. It's more effective to do this glitch online rather than in single player as Nico has a bad habit of flying out of the car when this happens. So, here's how it's done. You need to find the playground in the Firefly projects, drive your vehicle up to it very slowly and then keep pressing the gas until you fly off with great force. Hey! Gate Glitch Grand Theft Auto 5 Console Version a variation of the infamous swing set glitch from Grand Theft Auto 4 appears only in GTA 5 Online, as it requires two players to accomplish it. The location is a set of iron gates in a private area near to Devin Weston's house. One player runs up to the wall that a normal gate is connected to and goes into cover. Once one player has done that, the other player presses their car upon the gates. The presence of the first player makes it harder for the gate to actually open. If done correctly, the glitch physics will apply with up to amplified effects as compared to the swing set glitch. However, because of the revised gameplay physics of the game, in contrast to GTA 4, the car will explode upon impact with the ground, unless you manage to shoot high enough to reach the ocean, or if you don't land upside down. If you still want to try out this glitch, you'll need to play the console versions. Head to the houses near Devin Weston's place, and have a friend run and get in cover by the gate. Now just drive at the gate, and wait to be launched. Hey! Face Scan Fails NBA 2K16 with the PS4 camera, it was possible to impose your face on a custom player while playing in career mode. The problem? 90% of the time, it never worked. The face scan failed. The scan is based on a score sum from 0 to 8,000, where 6,000 or over gives you the best results. Of course, scoring that higher number is an impossible feat to accomplish. The face scanning fail was just the icing on the cake for many. Hailed as one of the funniest, annoying, and downright bizarre glitches in the game, NBA 2K16 proved that it was more fun to complete a video with the funniest face scans rather than actually playing the game. So how do you get this glitch? Well, just try the face scan yourself, you'll see it. Thank you. 